Welcome to the Introduction to HMIS Data Entry Training, Part 3, Electronic Release of Information. My name is Andrea Carey, and I'm a System Administrator for the North Carolina Coalition to End Homelessness Data Center. This training will prepare you to enter data that will be available in reports and will protect client privacy. Our agenda includes what is an electronic release of information, how long do electronic releases of information last, how to enter EROIs in HMIS, and common mistakes to avoid. What is an electronic release of information, or EROI? The EROI controls how client data is protected, viewed, and shared within HMIS. It is not a replacement for the paper ROI form that you need clients to sign. Electronic releases of information also impact sharing. Data entered into one project can be viewed by other projects through sharing groups. Of course, after a sharing agreement between agencies is signed. Serving the client also turns on the light in other projects in your sharing group. Client consent is required for any data sharing outside of your agency. Adding the EROI acknowledges and activates that consent in HMIS for projects and sharing groups. But in some cases, a client will not consent to sharing their HMIS data. In these situations, it is very important you act immediately to protect their data in HMIS. For more information about how to do this, consult the privacy and security trainings or contact the data center directly. There are particular steps to take within the client's record. Today's training focuses on how to use the electronic ROI when your project is not in a sharing group or the client consents to sharing. How long do electronic ROIs last? Electronic ROIs are set for one year. New EROIs are needed after annual privacy conversations with clients. How to enter an electronic ROI in HMIS. First, check your EDA and backdate modes. Then go to the client's ROI tab. On the ROI tab, see if there are any active EROIs for your project. If you still need that EROI, click Add Release of Information to begin. A new box will appear. Complete the areas. In the first section, Household Members, confirm all current household members. This list is determined by the Household tab group. Since Henrietta and Henry are both entering our project, they should both have check marks. Then we have one more opportunity to check Enter Data As and Backdate Modes. Under the Release of Information Data section, the project you're entering data into will appear as the provider. And the date that you have as backdate mode, or the current date if you're entering live data, will appear as the start date. Don't change these two options if they are wrong. Exit out and fix your enter data as and backdate modes. So we've checked the right boxes for Henrietta and Henry. A quick tip. If you check the box next to the household type, all of the household members will be included. Next, set the release granted to yes in order to activate sharing settings. The end date is set for one year after our start date. In our example, we have backdated to January 1, 2019. It is acceptable then to either use 12-31-2019 or 1-1-2020 as the end date. Both are considered one year.
The documentation and witness sections are recommended. Documentation refers to what format the privacy conversation occurred in. The witness refers to who had that conversation with the client and helped facilitate the documentation. In our example, the agency administrator, Helen Housing, conducted the intake interview and privacy conversation. Once the areas are complete, click the Save Release of Information button. Now the expiration date will appear in green below your client's name. Please note this indicator will be accurate when you are in EnterData AS mode for the project that matches your active eROI. Looking at the whole ROI tab, now your eROI is complete. There are a couple of common mistakes made with eROIs. Avoid editing or deleting an eROI. This can impact reports and remove sharing. Do not edit or delete valid eROIs. Wrong place, wrong time. Not using the correct EDA and backdate modes makes data hard to find in reports. So always, always check your EDA project and backdate before entering an eROI. This concludes the Introduction to HMIS Data Entry Training Part 3, Electronic Releases of Information.